Photography has always um, grown and developed and been inextricably linked to technology. In that respect, it's very much a mirror of our time. When I first started working with a computer in the mid-90s, there just seemed to be sort of endless possibilities. It was a very kind of nascent time for digital technologies and similarly, of course, all of these ideas were starting to really interest artists. There was lots and lots of interesting, quite prophetic sort of texts about the impact that digital culture might have in all, in all of our lives and, and, and later in the lives of children. So these are some of the hundreds of transparency sheets that were shot um, at the museum. I mean, there's something very lovely about sort of containing yourself just to the to 12 or 24 exposures. I mean, you know, now you can shoot until you have what is technically a perfect image. I started trailing school parties as they worked their way around the museum. For me, it was an interesting space because when I was young, the museum was a place where everything was held that was important, absolutely everything. But, but now, of course, the museum's really changed. It's almost like the glass screen of the vitrines became like the computer screen. I was very interested in the way that my, my own children, actually, at that point, were using these computer games like uh, Nintendo skater, extreme sport type games. I worked with a, a young figure skater in Dundee, actually, uh, and on one screen she was shown moving through her routine, and then on the other screen a young girl was shown copying the moves on screen, very much looking at the, the culture of digital gaming. I began to think about how childhood was constructed and there were two major institutions that dominated. One was the family and the other was school. It did strike me, you know, when you're in a classroom in a school, you know, it's a very traditional sort of Victorian space that hasn't changed since the school was built. I think that children's world now is so different and that I wanted somehow to sort of work with that in uh, the indeterminate objects work, the classrooms work, which is a moving image. Crystalline type, clear type forms would just be seen rotating or hovering in a space uh, very much like the classroom we're sitting in now. Using a combination of traditional sort of lens-based technologies and digital techniques can really inject sort of an element of not only surprise, but also an uncomfortable sort of feeling or a kind of this feeling you get when you look at something that's new I mean, let's go to a place, you know, which was um, a series of sort of composite portraits based on one class, a group of children who were moving really in a way from childhood to adolescence. I set up a, a sort of photo booth and photographed all of the children in front of a very neutral backdrop, very similar to the way that school photographers work. I mean, I think that the way that we sort of photograph ourselves, you know, and photograph our children does tell us quite a lot about sort of attitudes towards sort of, uh, photography and sort of reproduction of uh, childhood. Um, so that, that all feeds in. But I knew I wanted to do something very, very different with these images that was much more to do with both gaming and the way that I saw children um, using images of themselves, actually exchanging inf images of themselves. I do think that, especially when you're young, you are very much using or can be using social media as a kind of mirror. So, you know, this, you're constantly seeking validation. I mean, there is actually something in your body, isn't there, that's produced every time you get positive affirmation. So I, th but I think you can become really quite kind of um, dependent on them. You know, that really affects the way that you move in the world. That there is this kind of apocalyptic, almost sort of like, you know, view of the relationship between sort of childhood and, t and technology. And that's not new. But I think rather than get too kind of anxious about these, it's, and we should rather try and document it in, in a slightly more measured sort of way. I consider myself very, very fortunate because, you know, I did find a subject that I found very, very interesting. And it's continued to be endlessly fascinating and continues to be so.